Hey there all you heroes and ghouls, I'm here to talk about the that trailer that we just got this morning for uh, Super Mario 3D World Remake Plus, Bowser's Fury. <laughs> okay, okay, first off, just to get the jokes out of the way that everybody's expecting, Kaiju Bowser's and <laughs> Super Saiyan Cat Mario, <laughs> all right. No, this, uh, I mean, it was only like a two minute thing, but uh, it, it got my blood pumping like a lot. I'm really excited for it. Like, I mean, I played all through the uh, Super Mario 3D World, which was a good game, but not one that I think was super high on the, the Mario tier. Not helped for the fact that it was released j uh, just on the Wii. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. It was, you know, the first game in a long, long ass time where you got to play as, you know, not just the Mario Brothers, but also Peach, Toad, and whatnot. Uh, so that, and all of everyone on screen together, multiplayer style, was really fun. Lots of cool power ups with the, the boomerang, and uh, of course, you know, the cat suit that came uh, iconic with that particular title that we haven't really seen anywhere since uh but it it could have it's one of those things where like you know it, it had a lot going for it but it just didn't quite get to the top tier where i think it could have gone uh bowser's fury is looking like it could easily do that though like oh, oh, oh damn so the very first thing is that it appears to all be uh open world sandboxy not unlike, you know, Mario 64, Galaxy, Sunshine, Odyssey, so on and so forth. Where uh, we seem to be collecting, like, you know, the, the stars or, or, or uh, shine sprites that they're like, you know, cat themed, <laughs> cat shaped. Along with some cat coins spread around here and there. It looks kind of, all looks really cool. So, uh, right off the bat, that's a big departure from the base game since the the base game was more you know not technically a side scroller but you know a very linear uh go point a to point b level by level design in the same vein as the 2d side scrolling marios uh, and because of that it definitely looks like we're not getting any kind of uh you know in-game multiplayer because how would you have free roam camera with multiplayer? You couldn't have them on the screen at the same time, really. Uh, it looks like from one shot, one, one shot that we have in there where Mario is surrounded by a bunch of actual cats that uh, maybe whatever is going on in this particular story has turned the other characters into cats. I'm personally hoping that you can just uh, you can pick any one you want to play as, and then you, uh, the others get turned into cats, if that's indeed what's happening here. But uh, we, we see Mario getting cuddled up with, uh, you know, green for Luigi, the pink for Peach, blue for the Blue Toad, and black be uh, for Rosalina, which is... Um, Rosalina doesn't have black as her color theme normally, but that is the the color of her cat costume strangely enough for some for some reason maybe just a differentiator from the blue toad even though they're two completely different shades of blue i don't know i don't know that's a whole other thing uh so that's that's the way that i'm thinking is that for story purposes whoever you don't pick to play as is catified so you get to uh, Nian transformation, a true, a true Nian-sformation. Wow, I forced that pun. I really shoehorned that pun. <laughs> Trans Nian for me. Oh God. Okay. Uh, Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Following you around, being helpful, maybe playable. Perhaps we'll see. But that'd be uh, the fact that you know he's he's got his iconic clown car, but also for the first time since Sunshine, he's also got the Gad brush with him, which is awesome. I, like, I mean, you know, 
he and his father were defeated in Sunshine, but he never gave the brush back. So I've been wondering where the heck that thing has been for the last two decades. <laughs> Uh, that's that's really exciting. I I love that that he's he's got the brush, um, then of course, Bowser, the big big Bowser. Oh, Nelly, where it looks like he's kind of like in a little Bowser cocoon sort of thing, uh, off in the distance for a, for a while until he unleashes himself. Uh, the uh, what I'm assuming is going to be happening here is that uh, something happens to empower Bowser with this new form, but it takes a while to, uh, to charge up or transform, to kick into gear, so to speak. But uh, Bowser Jr. is not liking what's happening to his daddy, so he goes to help uh, get help from Mario to stop it. Um, and then we see, we see, you know, the, the giant cat bell power up that uh, turns Mario into giant Super Saiyan cat Mario. My, my predictions here are that the, uh, you know, the, the star collectible that we see uh, collecting are sort of like the charge battery for the giant cat bell. And so it becomes the, the story, as it were, for, you know, what little story there is in Mario games is that Mario is trying to collect the, these cat stars, we'll call them, for, for lack of a better term right now, uh, in order to charge up and get the super cat bell in order to stop whatever is transforming Bowser. Now, the actual transformation itself for Bowser Oh yes, and ah, oh, the hard rock that that's playing during this whole thing just oh, I love it. He's just full on kaiju status now. With that fire breath was honestly, it was just like a straight up, you know, Godzilla's radioactive breath. It was just like a whole beam. Um. From what I'm, from what I've been seeing in America, it's being called Mega Fury Bowser, which is okay. And in Japan, it's called God Slayer Bowser, which is way better. That's so. That is so much better. That is infinitely better. But you know, and it, because it Nintendo is family oriented, we can't have anything that references you know, re religions in any way for, for some reason. But, oh God, it is so much cooler, so much more awesome. <sighs> Makes me feel so sad. I want God Slayer Bowser, but no. Uh, so instead we have Mega Fury Bowser, and it looks like he'll be going up against Mega Furry Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I'm, I'm really excited for it. I really am. It, it looks like it's going to be cool. I can't speak for how big it is. It looks like it's just the one area, which, uh, fair enough, I guess. I'm kind of hoping for more. At the glance, it doesn't look like it's too big of an area, but I am hoping for, for something better. Uh, but uh, I, I got to say, the way that it... it the, it all plays out and the way it looks. I, I honestly think that maybe at first it was being designed as DLC for, for Mario Odyssey. But then with how they, maybe just the development for it lasted too long or they decided, uh, hey, we got this remake of uh, Mario, Super Mario 3D World coming out. Why don't we like retool it, stick it onto that? I'm not entirely certain how everything worked out for that or what, but it honestly feels like something that was going to go into Odyssey at first, which, uh, I mean, either way, I, it's going to be pretty badass and, and I'm excited for it. Um, so I'm, I'm just hoping that the, you know, the, the big, that climactic battle at the end of the trailer of of uh, God Slayer, because that's what I'm going to call him, not Mega Fury. God Slayer Bowser and Giant Super Saiyan Kitty Mario. 
I'm hoping that's not the end of the the game um, or the the extra content as it were in and of itself maybe there's like multiple rounds or maybe it goes on for a bit afterwards something else happens I'm not sure but because uh, because if they just kind of put if that's the end of it then they just gave away everything in the two minute trailer which would be sad and disappointing but uh, I can't complain too much since it's add-on content for a game that's already been out for many years. Uh, but that's just, you know, kind of my two cents on it. Hoping to get more surprises out of actually playing the game still. Uh, but, I mean, get to swim around a pretty big area on Plessy, Bowser Jr. following you around, being super helpful, using the Gad brush to actually, like, have an uh, impact on the, the world mechanically, as well as fighting by your side, really cool. So I'm really excited. It got my blood pumping a lot. So let me know in the comments what you think down below for Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. And uh, let me know, are you excited for it? Are you not? What kind of jokes can you make about it all? I wanna hear your best uh, puns for it. Just whatever, whatever you can pull out. If it's, you know, Mario furry or giant Bowser related, anything. I want to know the best pun you can make out of this situation. Drop it in the comments below. Hey, uh, that'll be all for now. Just wanted to rush this on out since we saw that trailer. And hey, all of you have a fantastic rest of your day. I'm excited. Bowser's Fury deserves a great big Hell yeah!